What's going on guys, my name is Arik and this is Dark Souls 2. And in this video I'm going to do a boss guide on probably one of my least favorite bosses in the game, the Rune Sentinels. Yeah, I hate the boss because uh, it is such an early boss and there's three of them, so <laughs> it can be quite overwhelming. Uh, especially if you don't know what to do and even though if you know what to do it can be quite dangerous as well. Especially if all three of them are uh, attacking you at the same time, then it's just very difficult. But uh, before we get to the actual boss fight, I just want to show you a shortcut which will shorten down the run from the bonfire to the boss. Uh, be aware though, the the shortcut is much more dangerous than the actual run. I died more from uh, going. I, I died more from the shortcut than I did from uh, just fighting my way through the normal enemies. But once you get down there, just open the door and uh, run back up to where we were before. And uh, once you get here, just walk down there. Don't roll or don't jump or anything. It's much more safer to just walk down there. But once you once you're down there, just uh, head up the ladder, and uh, you should be by the boss. So before I start with the move set, I just want to let you know that there is an NPC summon that you can bring with you. Uh, she will be in one of the cells before uh, the the fog door, and uh, it is a very useful uh, NPC summon because uh, she will uh, take up some of the boss's attention. But once you get down there, you will be attacked by the first boss or the first sentinel. Uh, the other two will be uh, on top of the other platforms. They won't attack you unless you drop down or uh, kill the one of the sentinels. And, uh, killing one of the sentinels first is what I recommend. Rolling through the sentinels' uh, attacks seem to be quite useful, but uh, I try to do that on a different character and uh, with. Uh, a lot less adaptability and I got hit while trying to roll through their attack. So uh, try to get your adaptability to, to around 20. Or I, have it on, I have it at 30 but uh, 20 might be enough as well. But uh, don't, do, don't be like me and uh, do this mistake. I only thought that one of them would uh, jump up here but <laughs> apparently both of them did. So. Once one of them jump up, to just deal some damage on him and then jump down, otherwise you will be trapped between them and uh, you will have some trouble dodging them. But uh, once you get down here, it's uh, pretty much uh, patience is what uh, matters in this boss fight. So as for the moveset, um, they can do a one-handed combo with two swings. It can be dodged by rolling through the swings. And, uh, as I said, um, if you get hit, even though you're rolling through them, just uh, bump up your adaptability to around 20, maybe 30. They also have a two-handed horizontal sweep, which uh, I can't remember what it is exactly right now. Uh, I'm switching between the internet and Sony Vegas, so I can't see all of the bosses' attacks. And ah, it's that one. And um, that's a good, uh, that's a good attack for you to uh, get in some hits on them. Uh, their next attack is their uh, two-handed down, two-handed downward slam, which uh, is uh, the one that uh, the first sentinel opens with. And uh, it, if you dodge it, it is uh, you can deal some quite a lot of damage, as you see I did in uh, the beginning of the fight. And if you need to heal, just uh, try to bait them both to attack at the same time, and then uh, back away a little bit. Otherwise, they might lunge at you like that guy, or they might do their spinning attack. Uh, so let's see, their next attack is their mid-distance mid, mid leap, which is uh, their one of their two jump attacks. And uh, as it says, it uh, it's that one right there. The other one uh, where they jump from further range is uh, the long-distance jump, which is next up on the list. 
to dodge those two attacks, just roll back when you see they're about to jump and you should dodge it. So the next attack is the shield toss, which you saw her or him do just a couple of seconds ago, or maybe half a minute ago or something. Just when you see them, she's about to, or I don't know why I say she, when you say he or she is about to throw her shield, just dodge to the side and you should be able to dodge it. After a uh, rune sentinel has uh, thrown away its shield, uh, they won't be able to block anymore, which is, uh, that's good. So next up on the list is uh, the final attack, the one-handed spinning attack, which uh, is the one is the attack they just did. Um, they sp spins around three to five times. I think it's at three to five times. Uh, yeah, three to five times, and uh, it's got a massive range. So uh, what I recommend is uh, when you see they're about to use attack, um, just. Uh, Wait a little bit, just back away, don't start rolling like that, just don't start rolling like I did. Uh, you can just, uh, I don't know, maybe rolling uh, back is useful, but what, whatever you do, don't uh, try to have some stamina, um, try to have some stamina when uh, one of the sentinels is uh, closing, on, closing in on you with the spin attack. Like that one right there, uh, if you just roll away, um, if you spot attack soon enough, you should be able to dodge it. Um, I have no idea if you can roll through it, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I bounced the, their shield uh, on my shield, but uh, I didn't take any damage, so uh, <laughs> I've, I have to have done that, but uh, like you saw just there, uh, Pyromancies or any range attacks is uh, very useful. So uh, if you do have any range attacks, I suggest bringing some with you. And once uh, once you're down to just one sentinel, uh, this fight becomes uh, rather easy if you just if you're just patient. Uh, don't be like me and get a little bit impatient trying to get in the last couple of hits. Ah, now it worked very fine. I must have been thinking about a different time. Uh, I remember. There were one of them left, and I just rushed him. I almost died, and that would have sucked. That's pretty much been it. Uh, I'm gonna thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.